I'm going back to town to get something energizing for me, like coffee or some energy drink or something. I just can't seem to keep my eyes open. I spent a lot of time last night working, and that was a lie. I actually spent a lot of time playing farming simulator with my friends. It's kind of like working uh, on the farm, but uh, doing it on the computer. So I guess it counts as work. So I did some work last night. You can kind of see the tractor over there. He is disc plowing right now. We just want to bury most of the residue under the dirt. Wojcie, što ćeš biti traktora? He is cleaning up the crime scene. It's turning out pretty nice. We have the disc plow set up pretty deep so we can actually bury most of this trash on the ground so it rots. When this stuff rots it turns into fertilizer for the soil. But some problems arise like uh, this thing is actually acidic. But that will be neutralized when we go to fertilize using some NPK or, and stuff like that. It's not always like that. He doesn't break the tractor all the time. Usually it's me, but this time it's his turn. The way this works is we actually first chop up the sunflower stalks and then we come and disc them. After they are disced we are gonna let this sit for a while. We hope to have some rain. When you have water this thing rots much easier. And when this rots it's actually good for the soil. So then we are gonna plow it, then we are gonna cultivate it and then we are gonna seed it with wheat, barley or canola, we don't know yet. But it's definitely not gonna be sunflowers because you can't plant sunflowers on sunflower stubble. That's not good for the plant. Many of you might be asking yourself what this tractor is. I know it's red, but it's not a case and it's not a Massey Ferguson. This is actually a Soviet tractor and it's called the T-150. You can get it in a couple of engines. This one has the six cylinder with 180 horsepower. But you can also get it in a V8 that has a 240 horsepower. It sports a manual transmission with dipo zones. Those are pretty common for Russian tractors over there and it does the job just fine. I know it's nothing special, but it does the job and that's what we need it to do. Over here we have somebody with Alexion harvesting corn. I bet it's not gonna take them too long because it's Alexion of course. Nice. This over here is our corn. I know it looks ready to be harvested but it's actually not. We Yesterday we measured the moisture and it turned out to be about 17%. Some people might go with 17% because they have grain dryers but we don't have one so we're gonna have to wait until it gets to like uh, 12 or 13 that's okay to store. Seems to be doing a pretty good job. The disc plow has been buried deeper because we wanted to turn around the soil and bury some of the trash underneath. So I guess we're doing a pretty good job. And whenever you are close to a headland, uh, you would always want to raise the disc plow up because if you turn around with it, this would cause some devastating damage to the plow. Let's see if all the training got up to him. And yes, he did raise the plow as you can see over there, because he knows, if he doesn't, he will most likely die. It's kind of funny watching him do this, because the tractor doesn't have AC, and I'm here in my car, and I have AC. I know that sounded evil, but believe me, I'm a good person. We're definitely not gonna have big yields with this corn because I've mentioned in a previous video we've had a big drought in the spring and just the plant didn't do very good. We're fortunate enough that we didn't see that much corn and we seeded more sunflower. So we're kinda in a good spot right now. And I'm still wondering how the corn manages to keep 
around 17% moisture when we haven't had rain in like two or three months I don't know and if you're wondering why this row is down that's because I went through here with my swatter and I had my header on and I had to go between the sunflower and between the corn and the header is a little too wide and if I went a little bit over to that side I will push some sunflowers down and if I went a little bit to that side I will push some corn down it had to be the corn because I know it's not gonna yield as well as the sunflower and no please don't ask me why did I went with the header on between the fields that's because I don't have a header trailer and that's how I transport it I go through the road like that and I have no problem usually I think I broke the car I'm flowing it right now and I'm not going anywhere this is probably an intercooler hose or a trouble I don't know Man.